Welcome, one and all, warriors and wackadoos, to another wide world of butt whoop. Anyway, yeah, we're at ICMAT in Orlando, Florida, and we're seeing me throw hands with some random dude in the, the continuous sparring advanced division. Yep, uh, and so we're finding out with this guy, he likes to throw kicks. And because he's taller than me, I have to get in. And several times, noticing he he doesn't want to get in with me. Well, I'm going to get in regardless. I'm going to fight my fight. Yeah, you keep your distance. You want to keep your distance. I get it. Yeah, you, you think this is a, a, like a Lennox Lewis versus Mike Tyson. Except, you know, I ain't going down as easy as Tyson. I'm going to hit you. I'll make you pay for it. Anyway, yeah, he loves to throw that front kick, and the best way to stop that front kick is what I just did by, like, raising the, my knee to check it. So, you know, basic fundamentals. Now, nah, see, he keeps turning his back because he wants to keep his distance. And because of that, I'm going to be on his head. I'm going to be on your head, boy. On your head, boy. Judge anyway. So it looks like I won that first round. One thing I don't care for about this is the rounds are only one minute, so it's it's mainly a battle to get there first. Um, I don't really care for that because it's like it makes me impatient. You can see he wants to again wrap up with me. Um, you can tell immediately, and I'm seeing this a lot, and I will comment on this in another video about the full tournament experience. And you see again, he likes to wrap up, but. A lot of guys don't have those boxing fundamentals. And I don't know what he was thinking he was doing with that one. It was an ugly spinning uh, back fist or whatever. But see, he, he, we both like to go straight in. Um, I feel like all my teachers would be yelling at me, what are you doing? You're the king of the sidestep. Why aren't you sidestepping? Because I'm you know, a little impatient and very tense. I did not relax. I scolded myself more than anyone on that. Because, you know, you got to do what you got to do in a short amount of time. He, he thought he was going, uh, yeah, uh-huh. Oh, yep, wrap up with me. He didn't want to, he wanted to try and sneak me. I, I saw what he was about to do, and I got him back for it, made him pay for it. And, then he, and of course, as soon as I start getting on the inside, he, oh, I got to wrap up with him because I don't want to box him. Those, those beautiful arms of his will hurt me. Well, it's not just the arms, it's, it's the punching from the earth. You, know, you can feel that fudge in. Anyway, this is how you fight tall people. Get in on the inside. And if they don't like to keep their hands up, punch them in the face, like like that. <laughs> I, again, I hate, I, I adamantly hate those little footy things they make us wear. I'd rather wear my shin guards because they jack up my balance something horrible. That's why I keep slipping. Yep, yep. You gotta wrap up. He wants to be wild and crazy, and he don't wanna. He don't wanna actually, you know, kickbox or box or whatever. He's like, oh no, he's in on my. In, he, he's fighting in the pocket. Uh, I want to grapple him, but I can't grapple him. And you're lucky we can't grapple because if we could, I see that you aren't big on the hand, so I know you're not big on the joint locking and the grappling and, and, and in short order I, I would have taken you off your feet if this were an MMA fight and negated your height completely and just okay I'm gonna John Wick you with the whole arm bars and the chokes but that is not that contest of course with John Wick it's never a contest it's uh, win or die <laughs> oh, you're gonna leg kick me huh I'll leg kick you too boy anyway Okay, yeah, yeah, get in on him, get in on him. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Yeah, see, there he, there, ah, see, there he goes again. He's got to wrap me up. Because <laughs> he knows. He knows. Yeah, taste my sidekick, boy. What is that? What is that? Oh, look, leg kick, baby, leg kick. Anyway, yeah, keep your hands up. Reset, reset, green. He swings wildly. Gotta be more precise, my man. But they give it to him because he kept me at bay with those kicks. That's okay. And and okay, you're telegraphing. Bro. All right. Nice to wrap up, but I unwrapped him. And again with these little foot things. Look, 
um, karate people, kung fu people, we've got to get rid of these and get back to the standard shin guards like the Muay Thai people. I think they got it right on that one. Or just not wear anything on our legs at all. Bone conditioning is a thing. You need to do it. It's in Kung Fu, Northern Shaolin, Southern Shaolin, doesn't matter. It's bone density. Oh, yeah, eat that uppercut and that, and, and that uh, hook to the jaw. And, and make me, tr uh, and, and you know, again, those little footy things. But what is this dude doing? He trying to do the Superman punch? Uh, and, and sloppily, I might add. Whatever. Anyway, enjoy the fight. Peace.